So to really understand how to take things to the next level, you need a digitization system, a capture system that can get every single detail of an actor's performance. So to explain more, um, let's invite Vladimir uh, Mastilovich from Three Lateral, our good friend, to introduce you to some new developments that they've made in digital face capture and animation technology. Thanks, Kim. There you go. Okay. Thanks, Vlad. Thank you. Um, so Trilateral specializes in what, what we came to call digital life with a very specific focus to digital humans. Uh, we d in that domain, we develop technologies from acquisition to compression and articulation of the data. Um, just finished new technology, which looks really great in Unreal Engine. So great capture technology requires great acting and great performance. So we're very excited and very uh, grateful that we have been able to work on this project with famous actor Andy Serkis. Um, and this acting has been driving some of the world's most famous characters in the past two decades. Only to mention a few, there's Gollum from Lord of the Rings, Caesar in the Planet of the Apes, and recently Snoke in Star Wars. Um, and here's Andy to give you an introduction to this project. Hi there, Andy Serkis here. And what you're gonna see in the demo today is a recreation of my performance in real time, running in Unreal Engine. Thanks to Three Laterals' latest generation of 4D performance technology, you will see a performance that is caught at the highest fidelity possible today. Here's Vlad to explain more. So we are about to see a little glimpse into the future, one of the first samples of true holographic data. We have captured Andy doing a very well-known performance from Macbeth from Shakespeare. So let's take a look at that in the engine. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable recorded time. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Candle <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. <laughs> it is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Thank you. So even though that looked like a pre-rendered video, that was actually running in real time in the engine. So here's Colin from Epic. Uh, he's going to be our virtual cinematographer, and he will help us see this from different views. So not that we're only capturing enormous amounts of data, but we're processing it through uh, Trilateral's meta-human framework, and we're compressing it up to a million times to an asset, pretty much the same as assets we have been using in production in the past eight years. This means that we do not need hardware from the future to run this. It can run on current generation of hardware. It's also important to note that it's not a simple playback. Technology is animating a rig with beautiful organic and noise-free function curves for estimated muscle contractions that it sees in the data. And these curves are also human readable and editable. So even though no one has tweaked this animation, it was done by our algorithm, an animator could use this as a starting point. Colin can now demonstrate that we can actually add an offset to muscle contractions that we see in the performance. So he's just going to do something subtle, subtle with, the, with the browse just to demonstrate the capability because we want to be sensitive to Andy's performance as well. And we can make Andy a look on the other side. <laughs> so you can see that it's kind of like a little bit, little bit sensitive area because of the high fidelity. But uh, what this uh, allows us, it opens up new possibilities of retargeting the animation to a new face, new character, or simple but fundamental things in production, like integrating the character in the actual scene. It can be used for experience design, like having Andy Serkis di directly addressing each member of the audience in the VR space, which I personally feel that it's very powerful, and what act actors have wanted to do 
for a long time. And it opens up a whole new world of level of immersion, um, of experience that is based on performance presence. So seeing this process at more abstract level, technology is translating the data into universal nonverbal communication. This has amazing potential in research applications. And to prove that we're solving it to universal nonverbal language, let's see the same data, but this time on a fictional character. We have designed a mystical alien character named Osiris, and we're applying the same data from Andy Serkis without any tweaks to the animation. So let's have a look at that. Out. Out! Brief candle! <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. So implications of this technology are many. We have digitized an appearance and acting of Andy Serkis. So at this level of fidelity, the term digital humans is starting to get its full meaning. His performance can now be reshot, remapped, or saved for future generations. Maybe for Andy himself, if in 20 years he'd like to act with, with the face that he has right now. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Kim. Amazing. Well, first of all, thanks to Andy Serkis for being such a good sport and letting us digitize him and work with him for the last uh, five weeks. That whole demo from the beginning of Andy showing up at Three Laterals Place to today was five weeks. So uh, it's a testimony to how, how awesome uh, Vlad's technology is.